So sharing pictures and videos we've taken on our phones uh, quite often looks like this. But there are often times when it would be great to get those pictures and videos onto a big screen uh, to share with our friends and family. If this is what you're looking to do, then you've come to the right place. This video is dedicated to Apple iOS devices only. Uh, so if you're an Android user, uh, then you'll want to check out uh, this video right up here, or you can check it out in the link in the video description. Uh, okay, um, let's get started. This first bit here is pretty basic, and I think many of you watching this uh, already understand that in order to cast pictures and video to our TV, uh, we're going to need some kind of device connected to our TV that our iPhone or iPad can cast to. Uh, but I imagine there are going to be people watching this video that this kind of thing may be very new to them, so I wanna make things as simple as I can and help you understand what exactly it is we need to do to get this to work. So there are several devices I know of that we can use for this. And you may already have one of these in your home. Uh, the first and most obvious is the Apple TV. Now the Apple TV isn't exactly cheap with the least expensive configuration of the current model uh, coming in at 180 US dollars. Uh, but Apple TV provides us with the simplest and most seamless way to do this. Uh, the Google Chromecast is a very popular and inexpensive alternative to the Apple TV. But since it is not an Apple product, uh, we're going to have to download a third-party app in order to cast our pictures and videos to it. Another very popular device we can use for this is the Roku. Uh, Roku makes quite a few different models at different price points to suit different people's needs. Uh, in this video, I'm using a Roku Streaming Stick Plus, which currently sells for $60. And the last one we'll be taking a look at in this video is the Amazon Fire TV. Uh, for this video, I'm using the Fire TV Stick 4K, which currently sells for $50. Like the Chromecast, the Roku and the Fire TV also require a little extra effort on our part, uh, but I'll show you what to do as I go over each one. As a side note, I wanna say there may be other devices out there that will also work, but these four are the most popular devices on the market today, and so that's why I'm using them. Before we can cast our pictures and videos, uh, we need to, of course, have our streaming device connected to our TV, and to our home network. We then, of course, also need to have our iPhone or iPad connected to that same network. Once we have all the stuff set up and in place, we are ready to cast. As you would expect, Apple has made sharing your photos and videos from your iPad or iPhone pretty darn easy to do. All we need to do is navigate to our photos here and uh, I've got a nice picture here of the Apple TV box. Uh, what we need to do is click on the airdrop icon here at the top of the screen, click on AirPlay here at the bottom, and then we select our living room Apple TV from the list, and boom, there we go. We have our picture up on this TV. And then all we gotta do is just swipe on our iPad to navigate through them and share them with our friends and family. Casting a video from our iOS device to the Apple TV is just as simple as it is to cast a picture. Just select the video you want to cast, click your little AirPlay icon here at the top of the screen, and then tell it here we want to play on our Apple TV, and hit play, and it will begin playing on the, your TV. A fun little tip for you, if your video playback on your Apple TV is kind of choppy, try resetting your Apple TV. I was having really choppy playback uh, until I reset mine, and uh, after that, it was nice and smooth. Another way we can share our media is to screen mirror our iOS device. So all you need to do is swipe down here in the upper right hand corner and there's this right here that says screen mirroring. 
and we'll just click on our living room Apple TV and voila we're now mirroring our iPad screen to our TV while we're mirroring our screen we can look at pictures we can play videos we can uh, play games even uh, I mean anything you're mirroring your iPad screen onto your TV so whatever you're doing on your iPad will show up there casting pictures to a Chromecast is almost as easy as it is casting to the Apple TV however we need to download a third-party app in order to get our Apple and Google device to talk nice to each other there are a lot of different apps on the App Store but I chose this one called Streamer for Chromecast as it has over 40,000 reviews and a 4.4 star rating overall once we have the Streamer for Chromecast app installed onto our iOS device all we need to do is launch the app uh, connect to our Chromecast and then we just navigate to the media that we want to share and get rid of this ad and there we are and just like we did with the Apple TV to change pictures all we have to do is swipe on our iOS device and it will change pictures to whatever we want to look at now if you're wanting to share a video it works exactly the same way you just navigate to the video you want to play and there you go the streamer for Chromecast app is capable of a whole lot more than simply sharing pictures and video. You can screen mirror just like you do on the Apple TV, share your music and several other things, but I'm not going to go into depth on it in this video uh, because that's not the purpose of this video and we've got other stuff to cover. So let's keep going to cast to a Roku. I first tried the streamer for Chromecast app, but found that app is only compatible seemingly with uh, Chromecast. So I had to look for another app and found a couple different options. The first and most obvious one is the Roku app. Uh, the second is called QuickCast and it's compatible with Roku as well as the Fire TV and several other devices on my home network, which I'll show you when I get to the Fire TV tutorial. For now, let's just look at the Roku app. Once we have launched our Roku app, we've got some different buttons down here at the bottom. If we go right over here to photos, we can navigate to the media that we've got on our iOS device. Uh, let's see here, let's just tip all photos and let's get ourselves a nice Roku picture here since we're demonstrating a Roku. And there it is. Just like on the Apple TV and the Chromecast, all we gotta do is swipe across our screen to navigate through our different pictures. The same way we did on the Apple TV and the Chromecast to share a video, we just navigate through our videos and play it. Moving to our last device, the Amazon Fire TV, I first tried the Fire TV app and it didn't support any casting that I could find. So uh, I went back to the app store where I found QuickCast. Uh, it's a highly rated app that is capable of connecting with a lot of different devices. Uh, one thing I found kind of funny though is it says Chromecast in the name and I wasn't able to get my Chromecast or Chromecast Ultra to show up on the casting menu here. So if you have a Chromecast, then the app you're going to want is Streamer for Chromecast. If you have a Fire TV or a Roku, however, uh, then this app will work for you. So once we've launched QuickCast, we need to first select the device we want to connect to. As you can see here, using this app, I can cast to the Apple TV up here with AirPlay, the Fire TV, my Dish Network Hopper, as well as the Joey's. 
my Yamaha receiver, my Xbox One, and uh, the uh, Roku streaming stick as well. Now that we're here in the menu, we need to select our Fire TV stick from the list. This screen, I feel, is cluttered up with a lot of junk. There's a lot of different things and ways you can cast stuff to the Fire TV using the Quick Cast app. However, I like to go to the simplified version by clicking more down here at the bottom. Now we can simply just select our pictures, uh, if that's what we want to cast, of course. Uh, then we navigate to what we want to go to, and how about uh, this one right here? And uh, just like all the other devices I've shown in this video, to switch pictures, all we need to do is simply swipe our screen here. Uh, as for casting video, there's not really any surprises here. You just navigate to your videos, select which one you want to cast to your TV, and it will begin casting. Although the QuickCast app is able to connect to a lot of different devices, out of everything that I've tried, the streaming video quality is the worst using it. No matter which device I stream to using the QuickCast app, the quality wasn't nearly as good as it was in the Roku app or in the streamer for Chromecast or when I was casting directly to the Apple TV using AirPlay. So that's something that you probably want to be aware of, but when you don't have those other options, this does work. And that, my friends, is the end of this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, please click the like button before you go. Uh, share it with your friends. And if you have a question for me, uh, hit me up in the comments and I'll do my best to get back to you there. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more videos from me. And if you'd like to help support me in my efforts to make more videos like this, uh, please check out my Amazon store where you can pick up things I feature in my videos like the Apple TV, Chromecast, Fire TV, or Roku streaming sticks I used in this video. Uh, thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day and I look forward to hanging out with you again in another video. We'll see you later.